I feel like you're helping everybody, everybody else me. more than me. Nah, nah, nah. I'm not letting you taste it. Give me a waterfall. But I think a lot of people think, I don't know what I'm doing, so I shouldn't go to the gym when it should be the opposite. If it's Tuesday today, you know, show up on Wednesday. Hey, that sound like Velcro. <laughs> <laughs> Two more. Squeeze, down slow. You gotta go down slow. Oh, Come on, time. Come on, one more. Well, it's the first exercise. I got keys. <laughs> Usually before I start with a client, I kind of try to find out why. Why they want to do it, why they want to see the results. You know, if they're doing it more than, I just want to look good. That way down the line, when they, you know, they get burnt out, you know, if it's important enough and that why is important enough, they'll kind of remember, oh, that's why I'm doing this, and you know, they'll stick with it. It's too late, I'm tired. You know, you be tired. I gave everything I had. Come on, Bryce! Don't stay, go low. <laughs> so, you know, when people are coming in, you know, I'm seeing them come in, I'm, you know, I'm greeting them. So over a short period of time, I'm getting to know these people and we're, you know, we're talking about more than just gym stuff. Seeing them from like day one and then, you know, seeing them maybe a year later still coming in and they've lost 100 pounds. Um, there's not too much that's better than that as a, as a gym owner. My message was just be start somewhere. Even if it's not coming into the gym, it's kind of like a snowball effect. It's like, all right, I started at the gym. Once you start, and even if you can see a little bit of progress, that's gonna motivate you more. Yeah, I don't think it's too late for anybody that actually wants to you know, put the time into doing what they need to do. I mean, if you got some weights at home, just start doing something, watch some videos on the internet.